Hi everyone, I am Erkan Özçetin. I am Avionics Product Development Manager of SDG. Today I am going to give a brief information regarding the large area display which we have been developing over four years. As SDG Engineering, we have been developing large area display to contribute new generation avionic platforms called glass cockpit. So what is large area display? Large area display gives flight critical information to the pilots which are warning alerts, engine parameters, navigation, headings, etc. Large area display has also touch capability which gives pilot to control the aircraft by just touching the on the screen. So move on to more details on the equipment level of large area display, namely we call LAD for the abbreviations. LAD has two main parts, DHA module and the back module. DHA module consists of touch screen, display, touch control board, backlight control board, and the edge lighting shame backlight units. On the other side, back porch of the LAD has power units, FPGA control boards and all the digital design on it. Avionic design not only means is the design. Avionic design is also give a safety perspective to the design itself. As SDG engineering, we are not designing only equipment itself. Actually, it is from design to sky. To comply with the latest version of the avionic standards and guidance, which are called ERP 4754-4016 engineering process, like the requirement management, etc. And for the safety side, we follow the guidance ERP 4761, as I said, for the safety purposes, for safety objectives like fault tree analysis etc and since it has the software we follow DO 178C objectives and guidance for the software development process and for the hardware side we follow DO 254 and AMC 2152A for the hardware objectives of this LAD which is called large area display. Avionic design has three important aspects, which are design, qualification, and the certification. As SDG engineering for the design stage, we strictly follow the process which is defined in ERP 4754A. The design process basically consists of requirement management, conceptual design, detailed design, and the verification activities, which is commonly known as the V diagram. As I said before, Designing itself is nothing without safety. So throughout the whole design phase, including the verification phase, safety plays very important roles. Now it's time to give information regarding with the certification activities. Actually, certification activities concentrates whole life cycle, starting from the requirement phase, development phase, and the verification, including the qualification. For the requirement phase, it consists of three important stages, which is requirement capture, requirement validation, and the requirement allocation. At the end of the day, of course, we're going to verify all the requirements, but now concentrate on these three steps. The international LCD standards and the customer requirements are going to be input for the requirements capture phase. All these raw requirements are going to be an input for the validation phase. After the validation, the valid item or system level requirements are going to be allocated for the boards, which is hardware and the software. Hardware includes digital design as well. After the allocation of the system or item level requirements, to the lower level items, which are the hardware or the software, actually the detailed design starts from the, at this point by writing the each item level requirements, for example, board level requirements or software components requirements. Once all the board level and the software requirements are validated, actually the challenging part of the design starts in this stage, since avionic design is not a simple design. Avionic design is a complex design which you should always consider the safety or reliability concern, which requires very detailed explorations of the data sheets of each component, which means we have to read every single line of the data sheets to determine whether these components are suitable for the avionics usage or not. In avionics, there is a popular saying that is, there is no second chance. As SDG Engineering, we design our equipment without any single point failure. 
by making our design more complex and redundant for the random failures. Please keep in mind that safety has the right to give any feedback in a given any instance. After the design phase, the verification starts. Actually, the verification is requirement-based verification. The keyword is in here, independency. Independent engineers from the designers write procedures by directly looking to the requirements. After the procedures are finished, released, then the official verification activities starts. Once all the verification completed, then the production line is ready for to go. In avionics, actually certification means justification of the evidences of the design in front of the airworthiness authority. The certification audit called SOE, state of involvement. So the state of involvement one, SOE one, basically consists of the planning phase. The SOE 2 basically consists of requirement and the detailed design. SOE 3 is basically requirement verification process. And SOE 4 is basically to finish and all the activities, to check all the activities has been done per the planning phase or not. Now it's time to talk about the qualification activities of the large area display. As you know, this equipment is designed for the avionic platforms which means that all the qualification levels are very high. For example, vibration, high temperature, high altitude, etc. Including the environmental qualifications, there is EMI EMC qualifications as well. That is CE, CS, RE, RS. The hardest test might be RS103, 200 volt per meter. This equipment qualifies for this test as well including high intensity radiated fields tests as well. To sum up, as SCG engineering, we are strictly following the international standards. Large area display is not only a design. It is reliable, safe, qualified, certified and avionic equipment. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.